I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight. That UFC championship belt. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Huge block there. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight, but if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue down this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. Establishing the jab here. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on throw. These guys said that they were going to point to the city octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. All right, so there it is, the leg kick from Kai Kata France. He figured to have a striking advantage tonight. So far, so good. Everything starts with the leg kick. It's a lot of the game plan of the city kickboxing team. They build reads off of your reactions. Kai Kata France right now is trying to gain the recipe for what going to lead to success tonight. Good body shot this there. Two minutes have gone by. Just unable to quite find that range. Combination landed by Kata Fronts. Both are prepared. These are the types of fights that we expect. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. 
Oh, and he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Good fight here, under two to go. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Wow. Good jab there by the champion. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab them. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. Well, it's not always easy being a counter striker, but when you can execute the style this effectively, it really is something to behold. You'll see he'll try to draw the opponent in here yet again, and as soon as his opponent strikes, he'll try to use that wayward offense against him and get back to his countering game that really has been the big story in this one thus far. Under a minute now to go in this one. Lee circling now towards the left. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Cotta Fronts. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Nice level team, by the shot. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, straight to the body by Cotta Fronts. Leg gets to the target, nasty high kick lands. Oh, and he counters with a straight left, that landed flush. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. He loaded up there in that high kick. And a miss with the right hook. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice block. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Looking to land the right just out of range. Out of front. Gets absolutely melted by that head kick. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Caught by that straight punch, you gotta do better than that defensively. Nice shot inside by the champion. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Oh, nice over that right. Oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, big left. Set up 
that head kick again. This one does not find the hole. Separate. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Connor Franz is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an only damaged nose. Oh, nice kick. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, nice. Nice head kick land. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. 90 seconds to go in round two. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Conafrance's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Unable to connect this. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. To the body in it lands. Under a minute now to go in the round. Right on the button. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, man. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now. But in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with his head. Ready. He's not doing a great job Good. of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Cata France. Low kick. Now, 
Oh, he might be out. Oh, that's big. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> we march on three minutes to go. All right, so there it is again, the leg kick from Kata France. He has a lot of advantages in this matchup, but that appears to be the weapon of choice tonight. You know, it's all rooted in the game plan. These guys build the game plan, and the fighters who sit in kickboxing follow it to a T, and you see that. The Kata France in his approach to that. And blocks the shot there. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Well, he is at his kickboxing guest tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going to kick after kick after kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. With two minutes and change to go in round three. That is a damaging kick that lands. Oh, massive kick lands flush. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Head movement. Oh, man. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Kata France is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here. Just out of range. pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. 45 seconds remain in the round. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. He's got the single collar tie. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Final seconds of round three. Tremendous body kick lands from this guy. It almost looked like he went up there for a second. Stop, stop, All right, that's stop. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Uh, it's getting a better, you know. You're a better striker than this. You know you're better than him. You can beat this guy. Stand him, okay? All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. That leg kick lands. Does a great job of mixing up the strikes. Lands another leg kick. 
Well, he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of the screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing his kick over and over again. Side kick. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. Lock. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, this could be over soon. Gets back to his feet. Just over three minutes to go. That was a nice strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Outstanding knee there by Lee. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, that'll do it! Drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.